long-time listener, first-time caller, as they say in your country. I would congratulate you on your retirement, but your last job has blue sense, yes? Well, my government lied to me, then tried to kill me, if that's what you mean. Yes. In Russia, we call that Tuesday. But Americans, it hurts your feelings. So. So, why was Dormov trying to go back to Russia? And why was I sent to kill him? Yeah, down to business. Food, very American. You're a busy man. We were both friends with Jack. He was a good man. I'm mourning his death, like you. But the reason you are here, and I have not killed you yet, is we share a common enemy. Clay Varys. He lured Dormo to the West, funded his lab, and now you have met the fruits of their labor. Yeah. Dolly the sheep was cloned in 96, but in 95... I was the sheep. Take it as a compliment. And you are the only one. With your DNA, Varys raised the boy as his own son, training to be the perfect assassin. So why was Dormov trying to leave? For years, we tried to lure him back. Nothing. Then last year, they had a falling out. Dormov got scared, reached out to me. So I, that still doesn't explain why I was sent to kill him. We have indications Dormov made a breakthrough. Modified human DNA, a path to mass production. But Dormov wanted soldiers to be stronger, smarter. There is, there is one is something else. What, something else? Mr. Brogan, you are the best at what you do. But still you get tired, you have fears, doubts, feel pain, perhaps remorse. You have a conscience. This makes you human, but suboptimal as a soldier. Less than perfect, less profitable. Clayton Barris is playing God with DNA. He must be stopped. If it's that dangerous, why not send a missile? Blow up his lab. That is what we're doing. Except you are the missile. I wish you luck. Oh, one last thing. You escaped from home two days ago? <sighs> Amazing work. I was on the edge of my seat. Wait, what? How the hell do you know about that? I'm a big fan. What can I say? 